That 70s Remodel, a Build Original Series, is brought to you by Huber Engineered Woods. This home started with all the usual 1970s problems. Dated design, poor insulation, and inefficient materials that just couldn't keep up with today's standards. But this isn't just a cosmetic update, it's a full performance overhaul, and that starts with the building envelope. Upgrading the enclosure to Zip System R sheeting helped us boost the home's thermal performance while streamlining our install. It gave us a continuous exterior insulation and a built-in water-resistive barrier all in one step. In Utah's variable climate, we rely on Zip System products for both remodels and new builds. They help us manage moisture, air leakage, and insulation without overcomplicating the wall assembly. With Zip System and Advanced Tech, we get fewer steps, faster installation, and job site durability that holds up even when the weather doesn't cooperate. These are trusted brands among top builders for a reason. Reliability, performance, and ease of use on real world job sites. Learn more and check out available rebates at huberwood.com. Hey guys, Stephanie Daly with Stephen Daly Construction. And today, this is episode three of that 70s remodel. We have started spraying in our insulation. So let me give you a little bit of information about what we're doing and why we chose to do it the way we are. Now we had a few different options for insulation on this particular project. We don't typically use a lot of bat insulation in the homes that we build. The two main types of insulation you'll see us use are a closed cell spray foam. And most of the houses we build will have at least an inch of this on the exterior walls and through the rim joists. And then typically over the top of that, we will actually nail up a net and puncture a hole and blow the cavities filled with fiberglass, kind of flat fiberglass shards, blown in fiberglass insulation. On this particular project, this is a full exterior remodel that we're not touching any of the interior. So all of the work that we're doing, we're having to do from outside. We're also doing it in a weird weather week. <laughs> and so protecting things and keeping things nice and dry is super, super important. Um, big concern for us would have been to net and blow this with fiberglass insulation and have that insulation get wet between the day that we insulate and the day that the framer comes to actually install the sheeting on the outside of this house. So there's one reason why we chose the closed cell foam. But one of the bigger reasons is this house was just super leaky. Before we ever jumped into the remodel on this particular project, we actually did a blower door test to see what the house was at before we did any improvements. Now, I was super shocked by the blower door test results. I thought it was gonna be way worse than it was, but it came in at 7.2 air changes per hour. So still pretty, pretty leaky. And that's a huge benefit to this closed cell spray foam is as we're applying it, we're sealing anywhere that we're losing air out of outlet boxes, switch boxes, any holes that have been cut in walls. This house didn't have air conditioning when it was first built. So someone came through and added air conditioning at one point and punctured a bunch of holes in the side of the house. All of these things are leading to the leakiness of the house. So that's one of the huge benefits with this closed cell foam is it seals all of those holes and penetrations. So that's a huge bonus. Another reason behind our desire to use this, and depending on who you ask and who you have conversations with, closed cell foam can add a level of structural rigidity. These older houses just were built differently. The sheeting on the outside of this house wasn't necessarily what was holding the house together. This house has strapping on it, which is not common on the newer houses that we build. Typically the structural framing and the connection of the shear panels to the structural framing is what keeps or what gives us our shear strength. On this house, because of the strapping, the shear that was on this house or the sheeting that was on this house was actually just quarter inch thick cardboard. It's called Thermoply. It's a really terrible product, but it's something they used to use all of the time back in the day. I know they still do sell it. I heard a really unfortunate story from the lumber supplier the other day who said during COVID when there was a really hard time getting OSB and even plywood, 
some of the um, production builders were buying the thermal play again. So I do not recommend that. But that is what was on the outside of this house. So adding a little bit of structural rigidity with the closed cell foam is a huge bonus to us. In addition, one of the things that I love about foam in just any new home or any remodel is the added benefit of sound reduction. It's something you don't really think about when you go inside the home after the foam has been sprayed, you can feel and hear a difference in the sound. It does add a certain layer of sound protection, which is really, really wonderful. In our case here, what we've done is filled these cavities with somewhere between three and three and a half inches of foam. You can see some of the places they've had to actually cut it down because it was sticking out past the studs. Um, in other places, it's a little shallower. Closed cell foam has an R value of six per inch. So we have three inches of foam on the outside walls up to three and a half, which is really, really amazing. This is gonna give us a great R value in comparison to what was in these walls originally. About 70% of the exterior cavities on this house had bat insulation in it. The other 30% were just left open. So this is gonna be a huge bonus to this particular build. In addition, we are sheeting the outside of this house with Huber's Zip R6 panel. That's gonna give us a continuous insulation on the outside of the home. Tons of benefits. We're super excited to be using that product. Let's go check it out. We've actually got it all stocked in the garage and I'll show you what our plan is. Here it is. We have all of our Zip R6 stocked here in the garage, ready to go first thing tomorrow morning. So we're super excited to be using this product from Huber. This is actually the first time we're going to get to use this product on a job. Um, here in Utah, we have a really high seismic zone. We've got a lot of earthquakes and the engineers, the structural engineers have a really hard time getting the Zip R product to work in our zone. Now, the way this house was built, it has that strapping that we were talking about, and the shear is not actually coming from the sheets themselves. So we are super happy the engineer was able to make this work for us, so we're excited to try it out. This is going to give us that continuous barrier around the outside of the home. There are a few things you need to think about as you're going through ordering things like new front doors, new exterior doors, new windows. And this is way thicker, way thicker than what we originally had, which was just quarter inch cardboard. Um, but even if it were sheeted in 7 16 before, this is still a half an inch thicker. So um, thinking about how thick this is as you're ordering extension jams for things, or as you're ordering, like we just placed an order for a new front door and we had to order it with the brick mold on it. We ordered it with the brick mold on it and we ordered it with a specific jam depth so that we could account for this and our new exterior material that we're adding. So this house is going to be insanely well insulated in comparison to how it was before. And just overall, we've gone through, like you saw on the side of the house, we insulated all the wall cavities. We insulated all the ends of the trusses that are sticking up and out of the ground. We went through and did the rims. And we have also done up in the attic, walls that are separating the garage from the home and also the front porch from the home, which this didn't have before. So huge benefits all around. We're super excited about this. I know the blown in fiberglass would have also been an excellent excellent option. Um, a lot of people online are recommending that we should have done that instead. There is a downfall to the foam, um, which makes the house too tight. Um, and in that case, we need to replace the air in the home. But one of the great things that we're doing during this entire remodel is we decided to come through and replace the entire HVAC system. So we're upgrading both furnaces. We're adding air conditioning to the lower two levels of the home and replacing the air conditioning on the upper floor. We're pulling all of those line sets inside so that they're not ran on the outside of the building with a really terrible plastic cover around them. And in addition, we can now add 
the ERV that's gonna help us replace that air and bring in fresh air. So tons of cool benefits to this insulation. This is a great project, you guys. This is super affordable, under $200,000 remodel here in the heart of Sandy, Utah. It's an incredible project, so stay tuned. This is only episode three of that 70s remodel. There's a lot more to come. You guys know you can follow me on Instagram or TikTok at Stephanie Builds It, and we'll see you next time on The Build Show.